How's it going, guys? I'm going to be talking about some stuff that just happened recently. Well, for me personally, I'm going to kind of combine all of it together, so bear with me here. So first off, I want to say The weekend has finally announced something. Like, at least a bring awareness of his trilogy, of his three chapters that's coming to an end, you know, to a closing of The weekend, like the artist himself. So he's going to go to St. Pablo like around September 17th or the 7th around that time. Um, he did post two different trailers on his Instagram page, which I've been following really heavily on because it's just like, bro, he got to it's we're like seven months in this man. Got to give us something, man. Like, come on. Like this year is his last year, man, as the weekend. So it's just like, come on, you better bring on those fucking teasers because summer is almost over. So we're getting into that fall season. So you know what that means? It's the weekend time to drop some fucking music or at least some more teasers. So I'm kind of glad that he has at least made an awareness of it that it's going to like happen sometime like some announcement of some kind that's happening this year so i'm glad we gotta wait till september so i feel like somewhere in august we're probably gonna get more teasers along the way probably with like a music being dropped you know maybe just one single you know i heard about that escape from la or um something from la like that song being like leaked a while ago i heard it might be on the album or it might be a single that he might release who knows we just gotta wait and see so moving on from that tory lanes i fucking love tory lanes i don't give a fuck what what everybody thinks about tory lanes about the whole mega d dallion d stallion situation all i gotta say is just free my mans free my mans tory and for some reason, he just keeps releasing music, even though this man is, like, doing 30. Like, this man needs to get the fuck out and make more music. But he has consistently, or I don't know if it's his record label that's consistently releasing his music on Spotify. Because I noticed the first time that, excuse me, um, I've been released, I was just like, wait a minute. I thought Tori was, like, behind bars, but it's, like, a lost tape around, like, 2000, 2016, 2017. And then literally what was it yesterday two more songs from tori and then there was like i think there's like a combination of like four or six songs in total that's been titled you know said song with the caption behind um right next to it saying lost tapes so i'm assuming that these are just lost projects or lost singles that tori himself has you know created but hasn't really released anything like and an album version of it yet so i don't know if it's going to continue to be like this for a while i don't know how much music that this man still has left in you know the chambers to even release but you know uh for me personally more tory content more tory lane's music i am i'm not complaining man because i just really want to hear more of what my man is trying to spit out because i love how he's just going to this new direction with his vocals and his flow and, and sound and it just sounds so great and i just love to hear more Hopefully, maybe, I think it could be like a compilation, maybe an album that just titled, just titled Lost Tapes and just different songs that Tori made throughout, like, you know, his time, like 20, like from the 2010s to now, like how Kendrick Lamar did with the untitled, um, untitled remastered or untitled mastered, something like that. Hopefully a compilation album could be something of the sorts that's kind of in the works but if not if we're just going to keep getting you know more singles from this quote-unquote lost tapes that tory lanes has made you know what not complaining there as long as we get more tory lanes because i'm a good fan of his i do love his older projects but i do love his later projects a little bit more his playboy and on onwards of his albums great stuff of what he's going forward in this direction but again, I gotta say it just for the one time, free my man's. Tory didn't do it. He's not. He should have. He should have done that. Give my man like good time behavior. Cut. Cut his. Cut his time, man. My man does not deserve that. But yeah. Um. Besides all that, Tory Lanez freeing my man's. I want to talk about Drake for a minute. Um. Drake has not released any new music ever since the beef. And it was kind of like how I was talking about a while ago when I did my whole music rant about like how 
looking at Drake's music, it's like there's nothing new and nothing of his style or his flow. And we're seven months in. This man, it's literally summertime right now. This man has not released. By the time I'm uploading this video, currently on Saturday, July 20th of 2024, this man has not released any new original music that has no ties to the beef with Kendrick Lamar. He already did push-ups, Family Matters, Taylor Made Freestyle, and um, The Heart Part 6. Like, there is nothing new that Drake has made of his own of any kind of music. He did some features on the Camilio, that one girl that did uh, I Love It with a Playboy Cardi feature. I forgot how to say her name. like Camilia or something. I know he got a feature in his own song in that album. And then he was on a Sexy Red feature, which I kind of like it and not like at the same time because he just raps over the BBL Drizzy B thinking like he is the shit, which kind of isn't. But it's kind of funny that he still think he is. And he did the one Delilah fucking remix version, like an, a Canadian version. I'm just like, bro, just make something of your own. Like, I don't mind if he just gives up on rap and just tries to be more melodic with his music. You know, I'm open to that. I think Views is a really good example of like him not trying to rap too much and trying to go for maybe a little bit of an R&B direction, you know? because drake is just more so of like every genre you can think of a side artist but just drake's doing his version of it you know he needs more originality but again this man has not released any music i don't know if he's on dude it'll be so fucking funny if drake has is not going to release an album because this man has yearly and consistently drop a project every single year and like to think like we're seven months in and we have nothing new yet from the Drizzy, the BBL Drizzy King himself. Ridiculous, man. But anyways, that's just it, man. That's just what I want to get out. That's been recently that that's been happening in the music scene recently. But um, yeah, I'm pretty excited again with uh with the weekend. I'm finally like at least making a trailer of his trilogy coming to an end, and I'm really excited with Tory Lanez just with his record label just releasing more of his lost tapes and music. Hopefully, again we can get like an album of this. But if not, we'll love some more of that. And then for Drake, the man's got to release some some music, man. Something is better than nothing, man. Like, come on, you gotta show your improvement, improvement or growth. Or something like that, man. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. If not, that's a okay with me. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sotico239. And I hope y'all have a wonderful morning, night, day, evening, whatever the occasion is. Take care, stay safe, and all that good jazz. But anyways, guys, later.